Welcome to PCMRP's video tutorial series. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate PCMRP's inspection module. PCMRP's inspection module allows quality control inspectors to record and save inspection records for parts and assemblies that require an inspection. For this video, we will play the part of a QC inspector. Back from lunch, ready to inspect any parts requiring inspections that may have come in during the last couple of hours. As a QC inspector, I will click on Optional, Inspection, and Perform Inspections. I'll sort my inspection requirements by date. This will allow me to inspect the oldest requirements first. I will check to show me items requiring inspections that have been received. And now I'll click on the List button. I have two items that have been received and require inspections. I'll select the oldest one first and click on the Inspection button. Clicking on the Inspection Criteria button displays my inspection criteria. In this case, it consists of a custom template I've created for these bearings. I could have created a Word or a PDF file as well. Pressing Ctrl F8 will allow me to print out the inspection criteria. Next, I'll insert today's date by clicking on the Today button. I'll enter my initials, D, S, into the Inspector field. I'll change the status from Not Inspected to Inspected. This will keep the inspection record from being listed again. If I've received a certificate, I'll check Certificate Received checkbox. With PCMRP versions 8.64D and higher, you can click on the Links button. Here I can add a link to the actual certificate by clicking on the Add, new, add a New Link button. I can display or print out this document by clicking on the Open button. And now you can see the Certificate of Compliance for these parts. I will now click on the OK button to continue with my inspection. I'll enter 100 for the quantity inspected. I'll enter 98 for the quantity accepted and 2 for the quantity rejected. Under discrepancies, I'll enter, out, I'll enter that 2 are out of tolerance. I'll click on the Corrective Actions tab and enter Return to Vendor. Now that I've completed my inspection, I can print out my inspection record by clicking on the Print button. There's my inspection record. Now I'll go back to the main menu. From here, I can select Optional, Inspections, and select Edit an Inspection Record, or I can select Inspection Reports. Once again, I'm going to hit the Cancel button and return to PCMRP's main page. Well, I hope I have shown you just how PCMRP can help streamline your inspection process. Thank you.